look at an ear of corn, the kernels aren't exactly the same all the way across that ear. Oftentimes at the lower part of the ear, you see bigger, more round kernels. In the middle of the ear, you see smaller, more flat kernels. And then at the top of the ear, it could be just about anything, but typically it's really small kernels at the top of the ear. That are usually fairly round. So what seed companies have done when they're cleaning the seed and processing the seed, they found that farmers like having a consistent seed size. Well, so they've the reason... separated big seed away from medium-sized seed away from small seed. Yeah, but the whole reason why is these farmers are going to plant this seed. And in the past, the planters really, quite frankly, have been horrible. You can't just plant anything. You have to have a certain seed size and you have to have just the right setting and everything else in order to get fairly consistent planting. So on our farm over the last couple of years, we've had a comparison, a what we call determinator plot, where we've had different row units from different manufacturers of planters. So Case IH, John Deere, Kinsey, White, the mainline manufacturers, we've had their row units on our farm. And you know, it really did make a lot of difference what seed size you had and of course the speed that you planted with. And if you didn't have that right seed size and you have the setting just right for a couple of these planters, it wasn't very good. The other thing that was interesting is looking at a mixed bag of seed. And there are some companies now that want to market plateless seed where it could be a round or a flat a large or a small they're just putting so many kernels into a bag well you've got to have the right equipment to be able to handle that you've got to have your planter set up so it can handle a variety of seed sizes and when we compared the different planters with a mixed bag with a variety of seed sizes the performance really started to change that's right so on our farm that's one of the reasons why we were using a Kinsey planter now we switched over to a Case IH planter that can handle all the different seed sizes a little better without us constantly having to make adjustments there to get the very best planting. And it, it's important. You may say, well, what's the big deal with all this and why do you have to plant it so perfect? And the reason why, when you're looking at a cornfield, uh, for example, when you're planting that seed, you want it to drop evenly. So every so many inches you want to plant. So they're evenly spaced out. And you also want them at the same depth all the way across the field. The reason why, they'll all come out of the ground about the same day. They'll all be about the same size as they're growing and it's a little easier to compete. Uh, take Brian and me, for example, when, when we were young, we weren't exactly the same age or the same size. And for some reason, Brian would tend to get a little bit more food than I would because he was bigger and tougher and he would pull it away. It's the same thing with corn plants. When you have one that's a little taller, it's a few leaves ahead of the next one over, it's gonna take all the water, all the nutrients, and it's gonna shade out the other one from the sunlight so it's not gonna grow as well. Yeah, so, so the one that's ahead early usually turns out great and the one that's behind, you know. <laughs> well, that is in case, unless they ripen too quickly and, and turn gray at, a, at an early age or something like that growing something along those lines. Well anyway, <laughs> getting back to the seed size thing, we just wanted you to understand there are a lot of different seed sizes when farmers are buying corn. So if a farmer does not have the right planter, he has to look for a certain seed size to buy and seed corn supply becomes a major problem for him because now he can't just pick the one variety that works good. He has to have that one variety in the right seed size and that's difficult to do. So for farmers getting seed, it's it's a tough choice of what they're gonna do and, and how they're gonna make all this work out because sometimes a variety may only have small seed available and you can't even get the big seed. So you may not get uh, exactly what you want that way, but when it comes to weed control, things are a little easier because we're talking about things that kill this week's Weed of the Week. Can you identify this tough weed? 